Hey y'all, how you doing today? CVMG back again with more Infinite Magic Raid. Now I'm leaving this one unfiltered and unedited because this may very well be the last Infinite Magic Raid video on the channel. There's a lot of hearsay in the official Discord about the global server coming out not actually being a standalone global server, but having to compete with all of the soft launch servers that have been out for months. So basically, if you're an iPhone user and you want to compete, you are absolutely screwed, shit out of luck, because you're going to be stuck playing against players that have in-game teams. Even on the very first day that the game comes out to global. But anyways, this video isn't really even about that, right? This is about the progress on this free-to-play account. So let me tell you how free-to-play this account is. This account is so free-to-play that I haven't even unlocked a fifth character to use. I'm not allowed to use wish units because not anybody could obtain them. Uh, none of my exclusive weapons are upgraded because that's a possible RNG failure for people too. I don't have a fifth unit because I'm not at day 14 yet. I don't have Margarita. In fact, I don't even get her for another two days. But I'm already at Nightmare Pushing Chapter 8, right? At first everybody said, oh, you're going to get stuck on hard level six. And then you're going to get stuck on hard level eight. Oh, hard level 10 is going to be the one that gets you stuck. Oh man, hard level 12, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, trust me. Nightmare is going to be impossible. Nightmare level four is going to get you stuck. Nightmare level six is going to get you stuck. Nightmare level seven is going to get you stuck. And you know what? At this point, I'm just going to say if we unlock hell, I fucking win. I have completely handicapped myself a hundred percent, only using characters that even some people don't even think are viable. So many people hate Eden and so many people hate Christian that it should be astonishing that I've been able to get this far with these characters, but I will continue to press forward until the global server comes out, just in case the developers wise up and the global server is standalone and we can actually have some fair competition. For the dungeons, I'm able to farm floor 15, which is good enough for me. Only four star and five star equipments from there, so that's fine. I can farm the artifacts, no problem too. So we're gonna have to see what comes of that, but I'll tell you what, people told me I would not be able to beat floor 12 of the Blue Mark Tower, so who knows where my next stopping point is. Emblem challenges, space temple, guild boss, everything is pretty much, you know, on farm just with this singular Christian. So how did I do this? Well, in the market, you can buy really good equipment. You have six star equipment already available to you if you just spend some gems. I went ahead, spent some gems, got a six star set on my Christian, upgraded all the way to level 16. By Nightmare, my Christian was already level five because I've been putting all my resources into him. I have a bunch of five stars saved up for whenever I get Margarita and it's gonna make the game even easier at that point. I seriously don't understand how everybody gets stuck and thinks this is so hard. All you have to do is pick one singular carry that has an area of effect attack and get good equipment on them. I even replaced the six star equipment with five star equipment because I was able to get some of these good sets by completing the events. Also on the events, completely free to play with these world global events where I have to go against the top ranked players, I'm still able to be in the top 5% somehow, number 52. I have about a thousand energy to burn on this as well, which will put me probably back at number 10. So since I have the events on farm, that means that my forge materials come naturally. I can just do arena. Arena isn't something that you have to thrive to be number one. I just kind of do what I can. The reset sets me back to silver. I farm some more tickets and that's that. You could potentially save your free trial for the double AFK rewards until you were at a farther point in the game like this so that you could activate it now and get better quick auto battle rewards. If you thought I was stopping whenever I hit hell, you're also wrong there because once I hit hell, everyone's going to say, oh, but you're not going to be able to beat it. And we'll see. All right. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you a quick update and let you know it could go south if they decide to make this global server suck balls. So we'll just have to see about that. But other than that, y'all, download from those links in my description. Give me some direct money and I'll see y'all later. Bye.